Here's my patch job. New elbow in there. Um, I don't have any moisture in this corner. You can you may be able to see that there's some just bare wood on the inside where I didn't really paint all the way. Just some spray paint. And you might be able to see here. So I have some half inch square dowel. And then here I just go to a popsicle because I was trying to go over this pipe. Um, so it's just screwed to wooden dowel that maybe I can replace that with some conduit later. You can see here that um, some of the black paint is being rubbed off from the pipe by the glazing where it's touching. And here you can see, um, where's my finger? Just like an edge here. So the rain will follow this trough down and hopefully not get water in the sides. <clears throat> and then my sensor, my temperature sensor is right up here. I don't know if you can see. And then I have a couple of pencils to vent the top of the collector. And then down this way I have a piece of pipe to open up the bottom of the collector to dry out the moisture that was in there. So I think that I can, uh, in the future, take all the screws out and take this glazing off and wrap um, uh, uh, metal <clears throat> uh, foil tape um, maybe just two layers would do it. Just one layer here and then another layer that overlaps it and could even go over this surface here <clears throat> to try to keep the wood from getting wet, especially along the top edge. Um, <clears throat> this is, uh, my flashing. This flashing was very cheap. I think it was less than $2 a piece. I have two pieces that overlap <clears throat> right there. And my screws, actually these screws go down through the, the peak of the glazing. But all these other screws go down through the, the trough where it actually meets up with the wood. And here's my, my view. I don't know how well this is going to translate. But these trees here go straight up and this is 90 degrees to the left east and then they taper down this is my little v trough where i get some um, winter sun with no trees and then it tapers up this way and then i get my garage roof line and that right there is uh, 90 degrees facing west so the best way to uh, improve the solar performance be to chop some of these trees down <laughs> so the ones closest to south would be best so maybe three trees there would be great and those three trees there would be huge but I don't have much to complain about this thing works pretty well so far <clears throat>